Hey guys! In today's video, I'm going to be talking about three ingredients that have completely changed my skin. So these ingredients, I haven't really talked much about them here on my channel. In fact, one of them I haven't even talked about at all, ever. So I'm pretty excited to share this video with you. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have combination skin that's very sensitive and very prone to dehydration. So my main skin concerns have always always revolved around healing and protecting a weak skin barrier, trying to get rid of flaky patches caused by dehydration, and I'm always on the hunt for products that will help to minimize the appearance of pores because combination skin, you know, you get the best of both worlds. You get the dry patches, but you get the large pores because of the oily T-zone. But luckily, the skincare ingredients I'm going to be talking about today have pretty much helped me solve my skin problems and yeah, help to keep my skin looking its best. First up is the ingredient that I discovered probably two years ago, and it has really helped to strengthen and protect my skin barrier, as well as relieve the dry, itchy, painful, flaky areas that I get on my face, as well as on my body. The ingredient I'm talking about is colloidal oatmeal, and I know a lot of people haven't heard of oatmeal in skincare, but let me tell you, it is such an overlooked and underappreciated ingredient. Colloidal oatmeal is basically finely ground whole grain oat kernels and it's loaded with lipids, polysaccharides, antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, all of these nourishing and fortifying molecules that we look for and we want in our skincare products, they're all present in colloidal oatmeal. Not only that, but colloidal oatmeal also has extremely powerful anti-inflammatory properties, skin barrier repair properties, and skin soothing and moisturizing properties. It has been clinically proven to be one of the most effective treatments when applied topically in the form of a cream or a lotion for those suffering with dry flaky skin, dry patches, eczema, or atopic dermatitis. The FDA has even categorized colloidal oatmeal as a skin protectant, allowing it to be listed as an active ingredient in skincare products. So yeah, that's how powerful it is. So like I said earlier, my skin barrier is easily weakened by external factors like a change in environment or the weather. So whenever fall and winter comes, my skin always gets so dry and so itchy, both my face and my body. And my regular products, they help, but it's usually not enough. So I go to the drugstore and I always pick up body lotions that have colloidal oatmeal. My favorite are the ones from Aveeno and Equate. Aveeno has so many products that are formulated with colloidal oatmeal to help those with really dry and itchy skin. They also have a baby line that's formulated with oats and a line specifically for those with eczema. I've tried them all, the normal line, the baby line, and the eczema line, and they're all great. They're advertised as body lotions, but they're fantastic to use on the face as well. Like I've used them all on my face with really great results. Walmart has like a copycat version with their Equate line, and these lotions also contain oats and they work just as well as the Aveeno ones, so I use them interchangeably. If the Aveeno one is sold out, then I'll just pick up the Equate version. Whenever my skin starts to act up and feel really itchy and painful and dry and look cracked, I always apply these lotions to my face as well as my body during my morning routine and also before bed. And it immediately soothes my skin and gets rid of the itchy feeling and I'd say after about 24 to 48 hours, the dry patches are gone. I've also noticed that the Aveeno and the Equate lotions, they leave a protective barrier on the skin that you can feel. It doesn't feel sticky or slippery or anything like that. In fact, these products, they absorb into the skin really well, but it leaves almost like a velvety feel to the skin that you can feel is sitting on top acting as a protective layer. It's hard to explain, but the closest thing I can compare it to is a mattifying primer. You can feel a kind of matte layer on your skin that's not uncomfortable, but you're aware that it's there. These lotions are great for use on the face as well, but like I said, you can feel that layer. And during the winter, I don't mind, I like it because then I know my skin's being protected, but I just wish that there were more lightweight facial moisturizers available so that I could use it during the summertime too. I can't wait until skincare companies decide that this is the next trendy ingredient so that it's available everywhere because oatmeal is just so good for the skin. Next up is the skincare ingredient that has helped me to achieve the kind of clear, glowing, from within skin that people with really healthy skin have. 
I'm talking about Galactomyces Ferment Filtrate. My skin loves fermented ingredients in general, but I noticed the biggest improvement in my skin when I used specifically Galactomyces. And Galactomyces Ferment Filtrate is a yeast. It's a byproduct of sake, and it's rich in antioxidants, vitamins, amino acids, and minerals that help to keep the skin youthful and healthy. It helps to control the production of sebum, which results in less acne and less blackheads. And it also helps to delay signs of aging by providing hydration and nourishment to the skin, brightening dull and tired skin, as well as fading sunspots and acne spots. And actually, according to legend, the benefits of yeast were discovered at a sake brewery in Japan. Visitors noticed that the brewer's hands were beautiful and wrinkle-free while their faces look really aged and tired. And this led to some research and scientists discovered that a fungus used to ferment foods in Japan delayed signs of aging and was responsible for the youthful looking skin on the brewer's hands. When I use skincare products with Galactomyces regularly, I notice that my acne spots, they fade faster, and also I don't get as many blackheads and clogged pores. So overall, my complexion looks a lot healthier and more radiant. My favorite products with Galactomyces usually come in the form of an essence or a toner, and I prefer to use fermented ingredients via these lighter watery formulations because it's easy to incorporate into my skincare routine and because it's super gentle on my skin so I can use it every day. Whereas something like an AHA, a glycolic acid, will give you similar results, but if you have sensitive skin like me, you just can't use something like that every day. And the last ingredient that I'm going to talk about today is a pretty new addition to my skincare routine, but in the short time that I've been using it, it has dramatically changed my skin because it is the only product I've used that has actually helped to minimize the appearance of my pores. And the ingredient I'm talking about is retinol. I'm sure you guys have heard of retinol and its magical anti-aging benefits, but basically retinol is a form of vitamin A and it works by speeding up cell turnover and increasing collagen production. Because it's causing the skin to shed faster, it's especially effective when it comes to smoothing out skin texture and reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, fading sunspots and acne spots, and also minimizing the appearance of pores. Since I started using a retinol, my pores look noticeably smaller because all of the dry, rough skin and built up sebum clogging my pores is being shed every 20 days instead of every 30 days. And the new unblemished skin cells are brought to the surface. I use a retinol serum almost every night, and I use a serum with a very small percentage of retinol because my skin is sensitive and new to retinols, so I don't want to experience any side effects. But the 0.2% retinol serum from The Ordinary that I've been using, it's been amazing and it's definitely been a skincare game changer. Okay guys, those were the three ingredients that have completely changed my skin. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Let me know if you like this video. And yeah, I hope you're all healthy and staying safe. And I will see you guys again in my next one. Bye!